Elsewhere in the run-up to Wimbledon, US number four, Steve Johnson, took time out of his preparation for the third Grand Slam of the year to become a judge for the day at the annual Wimbledon dog show. The American is a fan of all things canine, so he relished the opportunity to lend a hand. That was fun, you know, uh, it's my third year here at Wimbledon, so I was get to do something new here at the fair, and you know, I've seen this uh, the last couple of years, I've never really stopped by or, or come over, so it's nice to see this, and uh, just to see something new when you come to Wimbledon. But, you know, all the dogs were uh, very good looking, very, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a tough day at the office, but you know, somebody's got to do it, and I'm glad I was, uh, I was here to, to help out. They're all so cute. I know. I don't want to make anybody angry, but I will. I do love dogs, you know, I wish I had one, but unfortunately with our lifestyle, uh, Having a dog makes it a little difficult when you're never home, so uh, maybe one day, but probably not in the near future. One was just, uh, you know, overly friendly, and then, uh, you know, I kind of let the veterinarian pick the other two, so she has a little bit more knowledge on, on dogs than I do, so I kind of let her pick the rest. And the winner is, it's Molly the Beagle. Molly Beagle. Oh, well done, Molly Beagle. Sadly for the canine lover from California, his run at Wimbledon was ended by the 11th seed Grigor Dimitrov in round two. But Steve Johnson, the world number 52, remains upbeat about what the future will bring in SW19. The more times you come back, the more events you play, I think you kind of uh, get a better understanding of how, how to deal with those kind of nerves. So, you know, it's, uh, it's always uh, it's a learning process. You know, it's not going to be my last Wimbledon, I hope. So, you know, take what I learned from this year and take it to next year and the years going forward. So the player turned umpire came away from this year's championships with a new life experience to look back on. If Molly the Beagle was the canine queen of Wimbledon, the fierce competition taking place down the road at the All England Club was drawing sharply into focus. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, celebrating an SW19, We've all the reaction as this year's Wimbledon champion is crowned. And coping under pressure, we look at how the best doubles teams react when the heat is on. Don't forget to log on to the all-new ATPWorldTour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.